Hello, I'm Jim Gardner for Action News. It is every parent's nightmare unfolding in South Jersey. The search is on for an 11-year-old Cape May County boy missing since yesterday afternoon. So far, searchers have found only his left sneaker near his home. We'll have a full report now here are Mark Howard and Lisa thomas Lord. A woman in Missouri is arrested after her son is born legally drunk. And the search for more of those radiation-contaminated houses in Delaware County expands. Reading, writing, arithmetic, and now condoms on demand at New York City high schools. And we'll show you why an apartment was apparently a house of horror for seven young children. In sports, the man who led Pittsburgh to its first Stanley Cup is dead. Scott Palmer has the details. Dave Roberts has the exclusive story from AccuWeather. That and much more coming up in the early edition of Action News next. Martina Navratilova and her views on Magic Johnson with Donahue tomorrow. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Scott Palmer, Dave Roberts, Lisa thomas Laurie, and Mark Howard. Good evening in the news. Pennsylvania parents may soon get some financial help to choose their child's school. A steel worker's strike in Chester County may be linked to a firebombing, and an anti-crime bill may be gunned down on Capitol Hill. But the big story on Action News tonight is a widespread search for a missing boy in Middle Township. Dave Roberts outside with the AccuWeather forecast. Things looking better all the time for that Thanksgiving Day Parade Day. Definitely, Lisa, looking better and better as we get toward Thanksgiving Day. We could be up into the 50s on that day. That's the immediate call from AccuWeather. I better find my gloves someplace, though. It's going to start out cold on Thanksgiving morning. Let's talk about today and tonight, Tuesday, 26th day of the month of November. Here they come. Out of the dark, present temperature reading 36 degrees. Relative humidity at 48%. Honkers are out here tonight, 30.38, the barometer. It's a high reading, and it continues to rise at this hour. The winds, cold northwesterly winds, 8 miles an hour. We struggled, but we did hit 40 degrees, officially coming at 116 this afternoon. And there's still much more coming up on the early edition of Action News tonight. Police try to get to the bottom of a rash of diaper thefts. Delaware's Bill Roth waxes poetic on the floor of the U.S. Senate. Get to the bottom of the diaper. Mm -hmm. We'll have the results of a survey about doctors and AIDS. Those stories and much more coming up. Action News will be right back. Chopper 6, only on Action News. Action News continues with Scott Palmer, Dave Roberts, Lisa thomas Laurie, and Mark Howard. Hello again. Here are some of the big stories we're following for you tonight on Action News. Hundreds of searchers comb Middle Township, New Jersey for a missing 11-year-old boy. After four and a half hours of debate, the Pennsylvania State Senate passes a school choice bill. And a controversial condom distribution program begins in New York City's public schools. Now the details. Hundreds of people are involved.